Dave. Hey. How are you? Good. How are Good you? Good to doing? see you. Stopping by the water cooler here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're in the auto business, yeah, right? Yeah. You must drive a really cool car. <laughs> I thought I did, then George just told me it wasn't cool. So tell me a little bit about the Chicago Auto Trade Association. So we are an association of franchise new car dealers. We produce the Chicago Auto Show every February, and uh, so millions of Chicagoans know us that way. And we're blessed because we've got the McCormick Place, which is this beautiful, uh, exhibition hall and I like to tell people that uh, we've got room for the LA and the New York Auto Show in there too because, if they wanna because bring it it's over that this way. big yeah <laughs> McCormick Place is that big yeah you hear that LA we're coming for you <laughs> our friends in the media help us a lot we've got five TV specials that are produced from the floor of the show it wasn't too long ago five or six years ago when social media was getting going for maybe, maybe a few years longer than that and they said social media was gonna be the end of the auto show the auto companies could get their word out in so many different ways. Okay. And, uh, but what we found was social media just helped us extend our message. Everybody who comes to the show becomes part of that megaphone that tells people about what's going on down at McCormick Place. And um, people kind of go there, hang out, participate, and then they're, they're posting pictures, on their the Instagrams and the Snapchats and the Snap, yeah, all that yeah. stuff. I, I have a friend, his name's Joe. I won't say his last name, but it ends in Eveland, it starts with a C, um, and he is always going to the car, the auto show. He's always bringing his friends. They're always posting on Instagram. And most people, when you think about buying a car, they ask the person who they know who knows a lot about cars, right? Totally. And those people go to the auto show. Well, if you see Joe, yeah. I'll slide you a ticket so you Joe could come down. Yes. <laughs> uh, can I get like a VIP ticket that's like one level ahead of him, so yeah. I'm always like kind of yes. right in his face? Yeah. That'd be really cool. What are a couple of trends that are happening right now? The technology on cars is just going crazy. And, uh, and it's getting to the point where you hear a lot of people talking about driverless cars or autonomous cars. As I was mentioning about my Chevrolet Malibu, it's got a lot of things on it. It parks itself. It's got lane keeping. It has adaptive cruise control. With a flick of a, of a switch, that thing's gonna be driverless. Companies are talking about the point where they're gonna to get to zero fatalities and then taking, taking cars out of the emissions equation too. When, when I actually get a car that has all of those things, it'll be the first time that I've ever passed the emissions test, <laughs> which is really exciting for me. Well, Dave, thank you so much for stopping by Water Cooler TV. Um, I'll let you get back to the, Mal the Malibu. I know you want to kind of hot rod <laughs> later on the rest of your afternoon. So thank you so much thank you. for stopping by. Nice to meet and you. And that is it for Water Cooler TV today. We'll see you next time.